Well supported. Thanks very much, Jason. They're ready to go now. At the 1600, race four, Dreadlock, an odds on favourite. Up to the 1600 for the first time. They are set to go. They're off and racing now. Undoubtable missed the start by three lengths. Two Ronnies a little bit slow. The favourite Dreadlock away pretty well. Looks to settle midfield. The inside and Angel's Touch took up the running here from Itchy Zariz. Dreadlock's got up to about third there now. Captain Fastbuck's racing out three deep around Hay Porter. Then two Ronnies. They're followed by Du Paris Saga. Two lengths to lay down the law and two last of all to Undoubtable who missed the kick badly. Angels touch the three-year-old filly by a half length to Itchy Zariz. Two lengths away, Dreadlock, the favourite, getting a lovely run. Captain Fastbuck is uh, caught out deep on the track from two Ronnies, Hay Porter to the centre. Two to Dupere Saga, three quarters lay down the law and undoubtable is the last one. It's Angel's Touch taking the field up to the 800 metre pole. Three parts to Itchy Zariz. Dreadlock's out now. Three wide on the track and Captain Fastbuck is even wider, four deep. In behind them, two Ronnies. And they're followed by Hay Porter, Dupere Saga. Lay down the law next to last. Undoubtable is the last one. As they go past the 600 and Captain Fastbuck is the leader from Itchy Zariz. The inside Angel's Touch and Dreadlock works into it. Dupere Saga comes into it out wide. Then two Ronnies. Followed by Hay Porter, Undoubtable comes wide and lay down the law, sticks to the inside with 400 to go. They're stretched across the track. Itchy Zariz the leader. Dupere Saga out wide with Dreadlock. Undoubtable the widest runner. And in behind them, Captain Fastbuck as they get down to the 200 metre mark. Lay down the law on the insides running a big race from Itchy Zariz. Dreadlock, Dupere Saga are still there. It's Dreadlock, Dupere Saga, Dupere Saga, Dreadlock, Dupere Saga won it from Dreadlock. Undoubtable third and then Itchy Zariz from Hay Porter lay down the law and then came two Ronnies Captain Fastbuck and Angels Touch has finished at the tail after leading them up it's a Quinella for the Tony McAvoy stable, Dupere Saga on the outside has got up to win it here from Dreadlock with undoubtable a big run for third after missing the kick quite badly, Itchy Zariz there for the fourth, the numbers look to be seven six one and for fourth there, Itchy Zariz, number four. The winner, number seven, Dupere Saga. Jay Ford riding for Tony McAvoy. Has uh, got up to win it from the short prize favourite, Dreadlock. Blake Shin riding for Tony McAvoy. And for third, undoubtable, Sean Geimer riding for Gary Portelli at Warwick Farm. Seven, six, one, four, ten and eight are in the frame. One thirty-eight. 9 9, the time for the 1600, 37 9 3, the last 600. And the winning margin, a half neck, with a length and a quarter between second and third. Dupere Saga, a win at Goulburn two starts ago, and then fifth at Kembla last start, and that is his second win at start number eight. He's got up to win it from the favourite Dreadlock who uh, got to the outside a fair way from home and uh, running third there undoubtable. A good run after missing the kick. 7, 6, 1, 4, 10 and 8. A half neck by a length and a quarter. Time 138.99. Last 637.93. The winner number 7, Dupere Saga is a three-year-old Bay Gelding by Real Saga out of Forever Mine. It belonged to me, Mayor. Raced by MJ Anderson, SP Curry. C. Chegwidden, Mrs. J.H. Sullivan, S.T.E. Can, Mrs. K. Crow, C. Willie, M.J. Stapleton, the Gumden Proprietary Limited Syndicate Manager, E.A. Can, and the Valerie Racing Syndicate Manager, F. Valeri. Trained by Tony McAvoy at Hawkesby, ridden by J. Ford. Has got up to win it from Dreadlock. Blake Shin riding for Tony McAvoy at Hawkesby. Third number one, undoubtable. Sean Geimer, the rider for Gary Portelli at Warwick Farm. And fourth was number four, Itchy Zariz. Fifth, number ten.